What is up guys, it is your boy Young Ty coming through with another video. I'm gonna try to make this one today, finish it today, and drop it today, making it, you know, two videos in a row back to back. I'm gonna try to get back on that. Um but yeah. Right now, rocking the heartbreak chain provided by your boys at Standards. Just do it hoodie provided by the boys over at Nike. You feel the vibes? Little Jordan tag, love these. Pack sun. Skinny fit light denim and the white infrared sixes. Too clean, too crispy, but you know the vibes and you know how we rock it. Always gotta come clutch with the drip. But um yeah, today going to Stonecrest again. I gotta go pick up some rejuvenator so I can deep clean all of my shoes before the sneaker exit on Sunday. If y'all are, are unfamiliar with what sneaker exit is, it is just like sneaker con, but I wanna See, on a smaller scale, just because the, the clout isn't as big, but it might be the same size and same show up. No telling until Sunday, though. But, um, yeah. Basically gonna go there, maybe make some sales, maybe make some trades, but anyway it goes, deals will be made every single day, every okay. single day, the whole time. And overall, it's gonna be a good little time. So, yeah, if you wanna pop out, sneaker exit, go ahead, search it up online. It is a $20 ticket fee, and it's from 1 to 7. So, pull up, Six and I'll be there. But um yeah, other than that, just waiting to get into the whip right now and head on over to Stonecrest so we can cop that stuff, come back home, and get to working. But um yeah, I'll catch y'all over there. Alright, so right now we're in Burlington because my mom did have to make a return. So we are currently looking for any hidden heat in the kick section. If y'all didn't know, you can come in here and boy, and sometimes find some real steals and deals. Um that's how I got a pair of KD6 Easters, brand new dead stock. That was from Burlington. So, always got to look high and low because you never know what you're going to find. So, let's just take a little look around here. Let's see. Let's see, I'm going to flip the camera for y'all so y'all can see what I'm seeing. Okay, so. Hey. Yeah. So good at this. Do it. You can get one. That's a start. Oh man, they have them. The Skechers Sloops 47s right here, man. Super rare exclusive heat featuring oh a set God, knocker. Tyler. These are super exclusive. As you can see, $34.99. Original retail was like $400, so those are right there. But we were in Burlington in an actual and Stonecrest, and we saw somebody with Skecher Triple S's, bruh. Eesh. Right, let's see. No heat, no heat, no heat. This is a. Oh, hold up. I kind of missed these Salconies. Eight and a half though. So can he's like, you know, that, that laid back drip, you feel me? You gotta know how you're dressing to do that. But, um, oh snap. Got a pair of NMDs right here. NMD R2 size eight and a half. Clean colorway. You found the actual I found some extra heat, yep. $44.99 versus $120, so. NMDs? Yeah. Not a bad Those word. are R2s? Yeah. No, those are R1s, but in the. R2 body? No, R1, like second edition kind of complicated to describe. Got some tubulars right here. Let's see if we can find another NMD on this side. Why are all these shoes up? Because it's going to be like that. Um, going over on this side now. Got some time for your mommy. We're never right, Tommy, yeah. We're never rock Dirty. Tommy kicks, but the clothing be pretty lit, no cap. Ew, those are These are a whole lot of dress shoes. Mm -hmm. Got some ultra, got some ultra boost action right here. $39.99. What size are these? I think these are the I forgot these are called to be honest with you, but low-key rock with it. It's like really unique. Super different. Size nine and a half men's. Interesting. So that's in here for a good price. Um, got your fly knit racers. 
All right, so it's, it's heating up a little bit. We're getting a little warm. We're getting some warmth. We are not chilly anymore. Just practice, I guess. But we also have longer legs than you. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so the heat's cooling off a little bit. Uh, wait, what's this? Nothing important. <laughs> so um, I'll pick y'all back up if I see some more. Well, I never saw a day where Burlington's could get more fake. Oh, Crocs? You had a fake Crocs, Burlington? Come on now. But yeah, I'll pick y'all up if I find some heat. So, found these. I have no idea what they are. It kind of looks like an NMD R2 sock with like these weird hits. And I just don't know what it is. It's kind of low-key fry. Ooh, and, comment, and comment down below if you know what it is. Yeah, please do because I don't know what it is. Let's see how they labeled it. Okay, they gave us a code, so maybe I can look that up and find out what the shoe is. But yeah, don't know what it is, but it's in here for the low. So. They said gray slash gray. That's the color. Ah, okay, it is an NMD. NMD Racer Prime Knit. So, yeah, cool, cool. So, yeah, so far, that's this is like, I guess, the biggest to get out of, because I've definitely never seen these before. Um, that's actually a cop. $39.99? Comparable value, 180 that is crazy. But that's an 11. That's going to fit big and sloopy. Oh. So those will rest right there. But, um, yeah. 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 Some Puma action. I seen these. The fake Ultra Boost. Y'all know right. you got Puma, what, what does Pumas have going on? I don't know. And if you work at Puma, if you like, I don't know, because y'all be having some crazy stores. Hopefully no one on my show has tryptophobia or whatever because that would probably mess with you a little bit tryptophobia the sphere of hope i'm so evil because i did that at my school i had an eraser and i poked a bunch of holes in it Ooh. more tubular action a whole lot of tubulars around here oh uh, these slides go stupid they have multiple pairs so you can but they're hard yeah they are see so yeah, that's going to complete the shoe section really no no big heat that nmd was pretty cool to see though never seen it before so it was nice to see that but um yeah <laughs> some fake gucci oh it was not focused on anything here guys i found some authentic gucci <laughs> boy i'm on you oh, never nasty, mind it's by ralph Lauren. <laughs> nasty polo gucciness come on now they stay with the food. Anyway, but um, yeah. I'm gonna put y'all down and catch y'all if, if we go to the mall. Cause this line's long and I'm pretty sure the mall closes at nine today. Not 100% on that, but um, we'll find out. So yeah. See you guys later. All right, so we're home right now. Um, Couldn't get some rejuvenated because they didn't have it apparently, which was really weird because normally it's in malls, but um, rocking with the Crep Cure kits have had one of these in the past. It's been a minute, and from the cover of it, they have updated and changed what's in the box. But here's what it comes in: this nice little thick padded, padded, solid case, yellow zipper, and um, yeah. Let's go ahead and go over the contents inside of this and um, how to use everything inside. All right. So, box is gonna come just like that right there. What you're gonna wanna do is, of course, earn a zip. Flash came out automatically, by the way, but not looking too bad, so I'm just gonna leave it on for the sake of. When you open it, as you can see, it is hard in there. You're gonna get your Crep Cure kind of like manual type deal. Let me see what this is for. All right, so this is like what it's used for instructions etc out of here you'll get this nice new and improved crep cure towel the one in the past was way smaller and it was black so it's really nice to see that they updated it to this super nice sized towel they've also increased the brush size you'll get a premium all use brush it's like the perfect texture to not ruin suede or whatever that's crepe right there, premium brush as you can see. And of course you will get your crepe cure 
juice. You don't need to put too much of this into any solution because a little goes a long way. So now let's go ahead and get into cleaning these things. All right, so the shoe that we're working with today is my UNC 11 Lowe's. I took the laces out. As you can see, they're not really that dirty, but they got the little imperfections here and there, and everything must look perfect for Sneaker Exit ATL on Sunday. So, what you gotta do is, this is hot water. You take your brush, dip it just like that right there. Go ahead and grab your solution. Unscrew the cap. Once you unscrew it or whatever, apply and scrub. It's that easy. So I'm gonna cut, scrub these. Here's another look at them now, and we'll see what they look like when we come back. All right, so coming back, the whole insole easily cleaned. All dirt and everything was removed. This is like age. I'm gonna have to do some more sessions, but just from one quick session, all the whites are definitely whiter, and the shoe does pop a little more. Like, as you can see, super clean. Just gotta hit up the winglets. But, um, yeah, man. Crep works great. Honestly, um, this is just in there. And this isn't a great example, because I've used crep in the past for a long time, actually. And it works great. So... If y'all are trying to decide between crep or something else, if you want to start off, crep is a great starter because it gets the job done and it's uh, fairly affordable. So, yeah. Shouts out to Crep Protect for cleaning my USCs. Nice, quick, and easy. You know what I'm saying? There you go, Crep Protect. Get yourself some free advertising, you feel me? So, yeah. Just going to go ahead and wrap that up. I'm going to handle a couple more sessions solo. But um, other than that, why is it not focusing? Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and get to me so we can close out this video. Alright man, thank y'all for tuning in and watching this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, It was a good video. Nice length, you know, close to 13 minutes. Like I said, this is just from one quick wipe and nothing crazy. Um, A more dedicated video can be made if y'all say to do so in the comments. But I'm going to handle that by myself because the video was already long. But, um, yeah, thank y'all for watching. Keep sharing the channel. Keep showing love in the comments. Keep liking. Likes are starting to go up. And, um, yeah, man, we're close to 1,100 already. So, that's pretty cool. 1,100. So close. So, um, yeah. Keep on showing love. I'm gonna get on out of here. Young Tai, out. Oh, didn't press it. Let's try this again. Young Tai, out.